beautiful people welcome to my channel in the no tarot 11 all right so leo let's see what we got going on for today it's gonna be a super quick message you will not resonate with everyone check what fits and leave the rest give me one more please for leo for today thank you Ooh. all right it's telling you to let go of something overall energy is let go uh, someone has their eye on you. You got somebody um, spying. Um, somebody may be having problems with addictions, gambling, bad finances. Um, there may have been a situation that occurred with this person during Mercury retrograde. Or the next retrograde, this person may end up showing up. Okay, you got somebody spying on you. All right, definitely a divorce or a breakup here from this person. Okay, so... Maybe you broke up with this person because they had gambling issues, other issues, addictions here. All right. There may have been a conversation or something like that that happened during uh, Mercury retrograde. Maybe some miscommunication or something like that. Let's see. This is telling you to let go and make room for a new beginning. All right. Let's see. Give me more messages for Leo. This is not what I wanted to do. Hold on. Three messages for Leo. Ooh. Somebody is having a gambling problem here, sweetheart. This person probably went from, uh, from riches to rags. Look at this. Okay. So it looks like you made a decision to cut this person out. All right. This could have been your spouse or somebody that you could have been dealing with. Um, wow. Wow. Yeah, looks like you're leaving this situation. Looks like a lot of things are happening for you. A lot of elevation, transformation, and change. Good things happening. Some of you might be moving to a new community, surrounding yourself with, you know, positive people and things like that, okay? Those of you um, that have a lot of support, I see that happening. Someone here may be having some health issues, possibly because they're living a little recklessly here, sweetheart, okay? Um, ooh. This person is literally spying on you, okay? So this may be someone that, um, man, this person could also have a, a um, a, what you call it? Another profile, um, looking at you, contacting you, commenting, and things like that on your social media under another profile here, okay? Um, you may have gotten together with this person not knowing that they had all these things going on with them. And, uh, yeah, someone here may really be having some type of health issue. And like I said, it could be because this person does not live a healthy lifestyle here, okay? Some of this stuff may be catching up to them. This person may have some health issues that they have not, um, um, you know, told you about. With high honor and letting go here, hey, you might be well-respected for getting out of this situation. The person that you're dealing with might respect you, although they might be a little bit angry, they know that they're, you know, probably not a good match for you. Yeah, look at this. I got nothing but love for you, baby, but you got to go. Mm. This is clarifying divorce here, okay? Yeah, there's um, money issues here. You may have to start all over again, okay? You, there may have been some things about this situation that actually came to light that you weren't aware of, sweetheart, okay? Um. Yeah, someone here may have found out that they are, oh, I heard bankruptcy. Okay, my goodness. All right, but whatever it is, this person is definitely in deep regret here. They're keeping an eye on you, okay, trying to figure out what it is that you're doing here. They do want to bring this into common waters with sweetheart. Somebody, yeah, somebody is um, possibly coming through to try to communicate. You understand? They know that you've been disappointed with them. You probably have gone through this before with this person there could have been other people involved as well yeah see this person is stuck in a toxic cycle by themselves all right you on the other hand want to move to something better all right you're tired of this all right you have no more room for the shenanigans the bs the drama um you may have felt that your life is much more peaceful without this person all right, let's see. Sometimes singleness will do that to you, okay? Look at this. You will find peace. There's something that definitely happened during uh, Mercury retrograde. Maybe it is that you decided to, uh, you know, leave this connection. 
and start focusing on yourself. You understand? Pull back your emotions from this person. Not allow them to emotionally manipulate you as well. Knowing that you have love for this person, but there's tough love here. I, lo I got to love me first. So you decided to take a step in a new direction, you know, and elevate your life here. Yeah, because something here is out of balance in this situation. You were dealing with somebody that you're probably not equally yoked with. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, you don't have the same goals here. And someone here has some, some, some problems here, sweetheart. Like I said, you know, I think that you um, realize that you were in a situation that was very draining every which way. Your bank account probably looked like it had potholes in it and you know, look like a colander. It's just your money is siphoning out and it's because this person is being uh, irresponsible, okay? So in other words, it looks like you are definitely decided or you decided to um, walk a new path here and bring some balance into your life, okay? Restructuring your life. Yeah, you got to get unstuck from this situation. Yeah, moving on, all right? After a conversation with this person, all right. Ooh, see, look at this. Gambling, clarifying gambling. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. This person, there's no new chance with this person. First of all, this person is financially depleted here. All right. Um, someone here, how can I say this? Oh, my goodness. This person sees the error of their ways, but like a lot of people with addictions, there's denial here, all right? Um, this person may need counseling therapy or something like that. Um, maybe they have an addictive personality. Um, maybe it's just the point that they indulge in, or should I say they indulge too much into things that could actually be very toxic for them, okay? You do feel like this is a divine counterpart here, all right? Um and I know you hate to say goodbye to this, but this is wreaking havoc in your life. All right, yeah, because some, somebody is sneaky here, and they're going to apologize for their, you know, for their behavior. But, sweetheart, um, apologies don't fix your bank account. It doesn't fix the inconsistencies, the imbalance, you know, the, the, the mess between you two. You know, so, yeah, you're on guard for this, from this person, all right? Walking away from this hurt, but you got to bring some balance in, back into your life, sweetheart. This situation is possibly keeping you off kilter. So, source is like, you know what? I want you to really kick back, pay attention to this situation and reevaluate some things here because the way that this person moves right here, you are going to be broke and disgusted by, you know, in the next couple of years, the next couple of months. I don't know. Maybe already. Maybe it's time for you to find your passion and start something else and wait for something better or someone better to come along. You understand? Or if you're wanting to wait for this person to get themselves together. But me personally, I wouldn't wait for nobody. You could find yourself waiting all your entire life. And this person that found somebody else or decided to do something else won't get themselves together. And they end up on the streets and you waiting for them to get themselves together. Live your best life. Do you. Find somebody that's equally yoked with you and let this person do what they need to do in their life for them. Okay, hand this over to source and keep it pushing. And I'm not saying that you don't not to love this person, but sometimes you can't love people past their pain. Okay, this person has to want help for themselves. They have to want to do better and they have to actually take initiative without you harping on them. You know, you need to do this. You need to do that. If this person knows the self-destructive path that they are on, you understand? And if they're about to lose something precious, you, they'll do something about it, okay? It is what it is. If they care enough, if they care enough about themselves, their own health here, they'll do something about it, okay? It is what it is. I know it's not easy, so don't come for me. But like I said, where there's a will, there's a way, okay? And it all starts off with them. The desire to want to change, and that's anything in your life, okay? So there's that. Yeah, this person is possibly a bit immature here. They do want to reach out and, and you know, kind of talk and see what's going on. See if you guys can rekindle this or whatever, but they're not saying anything right now. Ooh, why? Because they know that they, 
they've done some things to you that they can't apologize for. Mm. Oh, Lord. Yeah, see, this person knows. This person knows. What did I tell you? They know. They know. <laughs> they know you know. This person also realizes that you found out a lot of things that they weren't, um, they were trying to hide it, but apparently they weren't good enough, okay? But what happens is, is that when you're really pouring into a person and you're genuine, a lot of times source will let it kind of go on for a little bit to give this person a chance to get themselves together, okay? It's like, okay, now you know you're racking up karma, right? You know that's going to come and bite you in the tail, right? You sure you want to do that? Mm. Okay, I tried to give you a U-turn around here, but you're going to keep going. I'm going to let you go on and run into that brick wall. And once they do, you find out, yeah, it's screwed up for you. But guess what? It's even more screwed up for them because they got somebody that loves them that's about to walk out. You, you're losing something precious. So for every action, there is consequences, okay? And one of the consequences here is this person is about to watch you walk off, cut them off, make a judgment call to go for something new, all right? You got blessings coming for you, all right? So some of you, this person, like I said, has been hindering your progress here. You've been dealing with this person for a long time, <sighs> and it's, it's time to close this cycle out, okay? There's a lot of things going on here, and if this person has all these things these addictions and, and stuff like this, sweetheart. There might be other stuff going on here, okay? So you just got to be mindful of that and do what's best for you, especially in this situation. If you see that someone is not, um, is not willing to, you know, go down the same path with you, a healthy path, then, sweetheart, hell, you got to make a right turn. It is what it is. And let that person go to the left. It is. So this right here, you got to be mindful because people that come in your life with this energy can literally set your life ablaze, okay? I mean, just destruction. They're taking you down along with them. And it's like a, a, a hell of a, a you watching a dog fight happen. If you guys know anything about, you know, um, there for us when they're they're fighting in the air with these planes, you know, and they're going at it, you know, from the enemy. A dog fight. This is what's happening. You guys are going around narrow missing each other, but in the end, you know, kind of like both of you guys are going down in flames. It is what it is. So you need to take control over this situation, sweetheart. Figure out what it is that you need to do and most likely move on from this situation and let this person do them, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so let's see. Yep, it's time to go. All right, let's see. Give me one more. The hand in need of help, assistance, or guidance. This person needs help here, sweetheart. And it lands over here on the five of cups. They need help. There's nothing wrong with a support system, being a support system for this person, but... They have to want to take the initiative to heal and to change, okay? Strong emotions, passionate love, or hate, okay? You got a lot of love for this person, and at times, you may not be so sure if you like them, okay? So, sweetheart, you know, what I can say here is that pray about it, ask source to give you some type of clarity in this situation. If you've already got out of this situation, do what's best for you, Okay? All right, the circumstances you find yourself in is not worthy of the time spent worrying about it. Release it, all right? So it's just telling you it's not your responsibility. Get to know yourself. If you find that you are depleted or dissatisfied in any area of your life, ask yourself, are you nourishing yourself? Sweetheart, it's time to put yourself first, okay? Let this person do what they're going to do for themselves, okay? And hopefully they decide to heal. Once they heal, hopefully they'll come back, you know, if you guys got a good connection or whatever. And, um, yeah, hopefully you guys will be able to find your way back to each other and fix this. If not, happy healing. Healing looks good on you, my love, all right? And hopefully this person will do the same. Y'all have an amazing day. Thank you for hitting the like button. And, uh, yeah, send you guys hugs. Bye.